What's up Capricorn Legacies? Welcome back to my channel for those that are new, for those that are returning, thank you. Make sure you give this video a like as soon as you come in, comment down below, show some love. I always respond. If you haven't already smashed that subscribe button, knock out that notification bell. Ooh, someone's calling you. So you get updated on your next video. I'm gonna be using the Radiant Tarot because I believe in this deck. The history, the knowledge this holds is unbelievable. So some channeled messages Capricorn is, I am classic, I am modern, I live my own I live by my own design. I am cherry. I am lemon. I'm the sweetest key lime pie. You're also uh, got voice of the future. Speak to me kindly. Yeah, you've been staring at me. All right. I'm gonna pull a few cards from this deck and then I was thinking of doing a like you versus them reading. Okay, let's get the best and highest messages for Capricorn. Oof. I knew this was gonna be a love reading with the Ace of Cups, Capricorn. Okay, someone is filling up your cup. Oh, Capricorn, your energy, yo, the cards don't lie. Hey. Should I get one more spirit? One more? All right. Oh, they gave me two more. So we have the Nine of Cups to clarify the Ace of Cups, and we have a Justice to clarify the Devil. All right, let's look at the Ace of Cups. Well, let's let's read about your energy. Let's let's do the major arcana first. How about that? My Capricorn. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Give it to me straight. You give it to me straight. So this is about your instinct and your desire, Capricorn. This is number 15 in the deck. Exercising evil, you abuse your good. Your exer but exercising devils cannot can cast out your gods. So this is about natural, free materialism, temptation. The devil card celebrates, celebrates instinct and naturalness. But it also warns us against selfish and, unrestra and unrestrained cardinal pleasure and points to the need to con control and restrict. Similarly, the card's a dazzling jeweled halo is attractive yet dangerous. And a broad by path here leads to the addictions that spring from the opiate of worldly indulgence. Restraint also allows us to channel the dangerous electricity of desire like shielded copper wire and to guide that wild and addictive energy into productive work. Yet the devil card also tells you not to guillotine the rational head from the body's drives. The pan aspect of the card says sex is natural and what is natural is good. As William Blake writes, those who restrain desire do so because theirs is weak enough to be restrained. 
Choke back desire and reason will drive the mind, crushing instinct beneath the wheels. Instead of being an integrated self, you risk becoming a disciplinarian, a control freak. Therefore, Carl Jung would tell you that you should embrace the shadow self underneath consciousness and make a marriage and make a marriage of impulse and control. Since life is born only of the spark of opposites, this is the key message of the devil card, which is funny because I would say you could consider a key opposite of the devil justice, which is a Libra, someone that's in balance, someone that is has the ability to self-control. Justice is... Justice in this case is about weighing the heart versus the feather. Weigh the scales, wield the sword, and speak the spirit's honest word. So this is about justice, your truth, your balance. It could also be your imbalance, but I'm guessing you, Capricorn, may be the more imbalanced one, and your significant other is the balanced one, or vice versa. Please take it as it resonates. Let's see. If not, then the soul will be consumed by the demonic goddess Amit, eater of hearts and devourer of the dead. The justice card is about wielding clear vision to find the truth and making fair, honest, balanced, and responsible decisions. As Abraham Lincoln remarked to Joseph Gillespie, I have always found that mercy bears richer fruits than strict justice. Justice is not merely following the letter of law. It is spiritual justice, harmony of mind and body, compassion, empathy, and the commitment to truth that comes from reflective self-examination. So for those of you that are single, this could be in regard to you know, doing some self inventory, you know, analyzing your character defects. I'm hearing, looking in the mirror, observing, you know, really tell yourself what you need to work on. In the darker aspect of the justice card, it could also pertain to escaping responsibility, you know looking at the mirror as a distorted image. The mirror is a tricky thing, Capricorn. The mirror can show you two different sides of yourself, depending your perspective. All right, now let's jump into the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is about birth, joy, love, breakthrough, brainchild. The Ace of Cups is a lucky card, Capricorn, of deep fulfillment and openness to new emotions. The cup shaped like the womb or a breast can indicate pregnancy or birth, manifested perhaps as new love or friendship or stellar health. Plato, in the Sympo Symposium, imagines poets and artists as those who are pregnant with creativity in their souls. The Ace of Cups might signify that something wonderful is growing inside you, and you will be giving birth to a creative brain child. Perhaps it will be a work of art, or perhaps you will be a work of art, and you will give birth to yourself. Be your own brainchild, okay? So this goes for both scenarios. If you aren't pregnant, you can also give rebirth to yourself, to your creative mind, you know? Explore the those dreams, those goals, you know? I believe in goals and dreams. I believe in a better wellness for all. I believe in loyalty and in trust, like justice. I believe in desires and lust. You know, I believe in a lot of things. 
The Nine of Cups is union. Its wishes granted delight in hedonism. Joy is shining in your chest, radiating outward and inward. Everything is light with exhilaration and dreams made real. The future is brilliant and shimmering with fulfillment. This card is sometimes called the wish card. And it tells you that you rubbed the lamp and the genie, magic up your wishes, love, health, wealth, work, sexuality, everything is jackpot. Señorita. And most importantly, I love you. You have drawn the Nine of Cups and life is looking pretty darn good, isn't it, Capricorn? I mean, you have lust, desire, intimacy, you have justice and balance. You've been weighing your heart, making mindful decisions. You have a counterpart that is exactly the opposite. Opposites always attract. Okay, you may be giving birth to a new life, a creative brainchild, or if it's not the case, for yourself, please take it as it resonates. But the Nine of Cups is about celebrating and treating yourself well. It's an ideal time to send thoughts of gratitude to the universe. So make sure you're grateful and humble about the blessings and miracles that you have in life. Look in the mirror and smile. Say a hello you and a thank you. Since it was you who made the wish, you who preserved, you who found the lamp and freed the genie, you earned the reward in the oasis of pleasure and contentment. Just be wary of self-satisfaction and examine your success carefully, Capricorn. Is this joy really joyful? Is what you wanted what you really wanted? The nine says, indulge yourself, enjoy yourself, but... Be careful of the tentacles of attachment whose arms can cling to you and bind. I'm hearing leeches. Abracadabra. Alakazam. Alakazam. These are words used, infused with power. They are action words like a wedding vow or a judge sentence. Christenings, contracts, apologies, dedications, promises, commands, saying, I quit. All are examples of language that perform actions. They act on the word like a hammer to a nail. Words used in this way are like wishes and spells and prayers. They can be used to heal and connect. How will you use your magic words? How will you use Abracadabra Alakazam? Ships at a distance have every man's wish on board. Zora Neil Hurston. So make sure you clarify your wishes and prayers and send them into the world. And be careful when you do this. Be specific. Make sure you're clear about what you're wishing for. Because you don't want the genie. You don't want to go back to the genie to fix the first wish. You know what I'm saying? Like, get it right the first time. All right. We'll jump into the light spheres. Let's get into your reading. So these were overall energies for your reading, Capricorn. Let's get the best and highest messages for my Capricorn gang. Oh, got chills. Do you see that? We got spirit with us. Cut the deck. One, two, three. By the way, your angel number is 1511. Make sure you look that angel number up. And leave a comment down below and tell me what you found. Okay. So we have the Eight of Cups. You know... Yeah. We 
have the Eight of Cups. What else? The Seven of Wands. Yeah, so this is definitely in regard to some type of spiritual ritual you're doing. You're doing this with consistency, and this is why you're in balance, or your counterpart, your significant other is in balance. This is kind of you versus them, okay? So you guys are both spiritually balanced, spiritually searching for a higher good for all, for humanity. You believe in your spirituality. It's something that you enjoy thoroughly. Nine of Swords, okay. So something, something may be upsetting you, Capricorn. Some news, some unexpected news, some difficult, difficult to break through. It's like you realize something about someone you once got off track with. You know, the emperor. The emperor is someone that is in your life. You could I'm hearing Aries, Capricorn, Virgo, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Could be a Pisces as well. Any sign really. But it's almost like this person is showing you tough love, right? They honestly want the best for you, but they don't know the best way to express it. Intuitively, Capricorn, you're the high priestess. So you can see, you know, through their energy, you could see the transparency within them. You know they're capable of being vulnerable you know they're capable of being honest and loyal. But it's like, and even though you know this, it's almost like you kind of just want validation, Capricorn, that they say this to you assertively, directly. In fact, let's find out how you feel. And let's find out how they feel. Let's jump into you versus them. First, Capricorn, let's find out how you feel. You're the high priestess, they're the emperor. Clarify the high priest for Capricorn. How does Capricorn feel? How does Capricorn feel, Spirit? Okay. So we have, I can be myself with you. I am recovering. I feel this sexual tension and I daydream a life with you. Hmm. How did they feel? I know you don't feel the same. Feel so drawn to you. Two more, please. You didn't see my tears. I wonder how you feel, and I don't know how to feel. Wow, they're definitely a deer in the headlights in regard to the connection between you two, Capricorn. You, on the other hand, you feel to be more connected with this relationship. You feel like you're recovering from a past relationship that, you know, 
you had your differences in like you definitely definitely feel like this is your potential soulmate you can envision a life of family with them intuitively you already know that this is going to happen but they on the other hand capricorn are having like mi mixed signals it's almost like they're having difficulty reading your energy just as you want them to be assertive they're asking the same from you so it's kind of like a double standard right for you to expect something from them without you doing it yourself they like emotionally they're so in balance so i thought that they were the emo the balanced person in the relationship but it's almost like you have this libra energy and they have this capricorn energy so we have deception Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah, so this relationship definitely requires some type of heart to heart conversation, being honest and transparent with each other, honesty, loyalty. Someone seems to, I guess you, Capricorn, may be perceived as your as they feel as maybe as if you're decepting them like you're you know withholding some type of truth some type of information about your past perhaps but i think you're withholding because you want to protect the relationship you want to it's almost like you're saying what they don't know won't hurt them right But if you really see this person as someone that you'll be like a forever with, then wouldn't it be best to just share? But I understand where you're coming from too, Capricorn. I'm hearing you saying, well, you know, if I start talking about my ex, will they think that I'm, you know, still caught up with them? You know, like you never talk about your ex with someone new that you're dating, at least in, at, in the initial honeymoon phase, like, if you, you want to have a conversation about that, like, I feel like that's something more you can talk about down the road, but don't, like, walk into this relationship talking about your ex, because obviously you're still, like, in love with your ex. And I feel like it's a huge turnoff, too. Like, girl, I'm here to talk with about you. I'm not here to talk about your ex. So then we have in the middle, you broke my heart. Yeah, there is some type of miscommunication here between you two. You might have taken some time apart. They still have major feelings for you and you for them, you know? There's this, like, natural chemistry and att attraction between you two, Capricorn. Let's get one more card for in between. Okay, so we have two, Spirit says... I don't know why this happened and I have trouble with in intimacy. Yeah. So you feel the sexual tension and they have trouble with sexual intimacy. Or maybe both of you do. Take it as it resonates. But what I'm getting is that, you know, emotionally, it's like you guys lusted each other. You might have had great passionate intimacy. But... There's also this sense of difficulty of connection with emotionally. And I think it's because both of you may be carrying old baggage around with you from previous relationships. If you want to give this relationship a chance, Capricorn, detach from any past energies, any karmic relationships that you might have had, completely detach from them. Because if not, you're only carry that karmic cycle into this relationship. It'll be the same energy, just a different person. If you want this to be your soulmate, your twin flame, right? If you wanna have a forever with them, start fresh, hit that reset button, take a step back, you know? Make mindful, calculated decisions on how you would like to approach this so that it ends up being the best relationship that you could possibly wish for.
I'm going to end your reading with that. If this message resonated, Capricorn, leave a comment down below. Give this video a like before you exit. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Knock out that notification bell so you get updated on your next video. And most importantly, Capricorn, do not forget to live out your best let go show.